Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are building a tiny but powerful AI chatbot that fits in your hand. Powered by the Raspberry Pi Zero 2W, the Pi Zero 3 battery, and the brand new Whisplay hat. This little gadget has a screen, a speaker, microphones, a mouse button, and a colorful LED. Perfect for bringing AI to life anywhere. By the end of this video, you will have your own portable AI chatbot running right from your Pi. So let's get started. First, attach your Pi Zero 2W onto the Pi Zero base. The GPIO header should align perfectly. Use nylon screws to hold them together. Next, stack the whisper head on top of the GPIO pins. It should sit snugly with the display facing out. That's your hardware ready. Before powering your Pi, we need to prepare the system on the SD card because the Raspberry Pi won't boot without it. On your computer, open Raspberry Pi Imager, choose the Pi model and the latest Raspberry Pi OS. Select the SD card you just inserted. While you were there, enable SSH and set up Wi-Fi in the customization settings. Now it is burning the SD card. Once the flashing is done, insert the SD card into your Pi Zero 2W. Power on the Pi using the Pi Studio Power button and you should see the Pi and the Whisk Play head light up. Use an IP scanning tool to discover the new device in the network. The Pi Zero 2W will show in the list once it connects to the Wi-Fi. Here we got the IP address of the Pi. Now let's connect to the Pi via SSH. Here we can see it's the latest Debian release. Now we need to install drivers for the Whisplay head. Deep clone the Whisplay repository. Then copy and paste the driver install command. Now we had installed the sound card driver. Here we need to restart the Pi. And try reconnecting after one minute. 
when you enter all sound mixer and press F6, you can find the WM8960 sound card in the list. And we can adjust the speaker volume here. Then we can test the display using the Python script in the repository. We can see the screen shows a test image and you can try pressing the mouse button for more tests. Next, install the Wistplay AI chatbot program. Git clone the repository to Pi0. Next, install dependencies. After installing dependencies, create a doc .env file based on the docnv.template file. In this demo, we will use the APIs from OpenAI. All we need is to paste your own API key. Also, you can set up a proxy when accessing OpenAI service. Open a new terminal so that you can load the latest environment variables. Enter the Wistplay AI chatbot folder and execute the build script. It will take about half a minute to build the project. Once the build is done, we can start the program with bash run chatbot.sh. Hello, how are you? Sounds great. Tell me a joke. Why did the scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. Right now, our chat box runs only when we start it manually. Let's make it start automatically every time your pipe goes up, just like a real smart device. Also, you might notice a tiny battery icon on the top right of the screen. It won't show the correct percentage unless we install the PySugar software first. So, I highly recommend installing PySugar Power Manager. 
it allows your chatbot to display accurate battery information right on the screen. Once the Pi Sugar Power Manager is installed, we need to restart the chatbot dust service. Now it shows exactly how much power it has left. And that's it, your very own pocket side AI chatbox, powered by the Pi Zero 2W, Pi Sugar, and the Whisper app. If you found this project inspiring, give the video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more fun Raspberry Pi tips and AI experiments. Thanks for watching and until next time, keep creating, keep learning, and have fun with your pie.